Hey and welcome today. I want to show you quickly how to hide your secrets, so API keys, passwords, etc., from your code when you're uploading it to Streamlit Share. Uh, it's very simple actually. You know how you create your projects on Streamlit Share. If you don't, go check out my video on how to host your projects on Streamlit Share first and then come back here. But so basically, if you want to create a new app, on Streamlit Share, uh, you have you select your repository from GitHub. Uh, you select the branch, and you select uh, where the main file is, where the Streamlit code is. Before you are done with this, you have to go to Advanced Settings, and inside the Advanced Settings, you have to create your um, token in a way or your secret. So basically, let's say I'm using an API key. I can call this API key and then I will paste my API key here, right? This, let's say this is my API key. And then once you say save, this will be hosted on the Streamlit uh, share application. And how you can call this from your code is very simple. I will show you uh, this on an example that I built before. Uh, on your Streamlit application, where you need to authorize your API or whatever you're using, whatever service you're using. It is very simple. All you have to say, let me bring this a bit closer also, is to say streamlit.secrets and then the name that you've given this secret on here. So for this one, I would have to call it oath key. And once I say save, from now on, Streamlit knows my API key with the name Oath key. So once I say streamlit.secrets, Oath token, it will be able to give me my API key. And here in the authorization, I can use that. So I do not need to specifically put my code here on a public GitHub repository where everyone can see it. So that's actually it. That's all you have to do. I hope this was helpful. Uh, make sure you're staying safe with your API keys and your passports. Don't upload them to places where other people can't access them. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.